You knew about the staff position? I heard about it this morning, but it's not for me. Nothing's changed. What are you talking about? Everything has changed. Maggie, I can't be the person who takes you away from this opportunity so you can start all over again. Don't do this for me. It isn't for you, it's for me. I want to go to England. It's my choice, and I chose you. If you had known about this staff job before I asked you to come with me, would you have made the same choice? Yes. <sighs> Don't put me in this position. What are you saying? I'm saying I love you, but I don't want you spending your whole life regretting this decision. Don't come with me. Now be careful. She's a high bleed risk, so if you nick anything. If you're gonna let me lead, Dr. Katz, let me lead. Almost there. Okay. Expanding. All right. Looks like we're over the hump. Okay. There's no need for two obstetrical staff members in here, and I have a plane to catch, so. Your idea saved this patient's life. The plane's lucky to have you. Wait. Is this goodbye? I guess so. <laughs> well, like, call me when you get there, okay? Sure. Do you want to talk about it? What is there to talk about? I finally got the job I always wanted, and couldn't be happier. I just came from recovery. Kim's doing well. Thought you wanted to know. Best news I've heard all day. Wow, considering your promotion and your new digs, that says a lot. I guess it just hasn't really sunk in yet. What's that? I found it on the floor. It's Sid's handwriting, and I figure it's her goodbye letter. I can't bring myself to read it. I know you, Maggie. And I know what it looks like when you're happy. And this last month is the happiest I have ever seen you. Do you think I made a mistake? Well, it depends. Jobs come and go, but love, it's... Well, it's hard to come by. Well, she was the one who told me to stay. Her exact words were, don't come with me. It doesn't get more clear than that. Unless this letter says it differently. It's in Hebrew. <laughs> Classic cats. <laughs> Writing me a letter I can't read. Let's get her to read it to you. Her flight hasn't left yet. Uh, there's no time. Uh, yes, there is. You just need a fast car and somebody reckless to drive it. Oh, my God. Come on, let's go. I can't believe I'm the one rushing to the airport for love. Why do you say that? <laughs> because you're the hopeless romantic. I'm always the bridesmaid. That is not true. You just hadn't met your one. <sighs> now my one is crossing the pond without me. Well, she hasn't left yet. <sighs> Thank you for doing this. You have been there for me more times than I can count. Seriously? The only thing bigger than your brain is your heart? I wish I could decide which one I'm listening to. You show me not to be afraid of mine. Not to mention a thing or two in the OR. There are no words. Don't worry, you're not getting rid of me that easily. We are coming to visit. You better. Or we won't make it and you'll be stuck with me forever. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get you there dead or alive. Preferably alive.
Hey, stranger. I thought you left. I did want to get on that plane. I was so mad and disappointed. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Not at you. At myself for pushing you away. I'm so glad you came. I got your letter. I think the first word is shalom. <laughs> yeah. But it's really hard to find someone who reads Hebrew. Yeah. Because there's no Jewish doctors working at a hospital. <laughs> nope. I was standing in that office, and it was everything I'd worked for. And all I could think about is you. <laughs> I love you. And I'd give everything up to be with you. I would, too. That's why I didn't get on the plane. I guess we both give it all up. <laughs> you want to know what that says? Mm. Shalom, Maggie. From the Book of Ruth. Urge me not to leave you. Wherever you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Where you die, I will die. And there I will be buried. You had me at Shalom. <laughs> it's a strange, strange game. Plane tickets are on me. <laughs> <laughs>